So we have an algebraic expression here, and we have to find the value of this expression given that the variables uh, values are a is negative 2 and b is 5. So with these values, what is the value of this expression? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to reduce this problem to an order of operations problem by substituting the, the values into the variable. And if this is new to you, my recommendation is to first copy the expression exactly as it is, but replacing the, the variables with a small little pair of parentheses. And once that's done, we're just going to copy the values into the parentheses. So this parenthesis stands for a, a is negative 2. And this parenthesis it stands for b, and b is 5. And then this is a, and this is b. So negative 2 and 5. And then we can drop the parentheses that are extra. Every time we substitute negative values, the parentheses are necessary. And every time we're substituting a positive number, the parentheses is sort of extra. But it will never hurt. So now we have an order of operations problem. If we have something like a over b, we can rewrite it as a divided by b. And then we go left to right. So theoretically, we should work out what number this expression is. And only then can we start simplifying this. But intuitively, it doesn't matter because we have to be finished both upstairs and downstairs before we can perform the last operation, which is division between the two. We're going to start working on the top. The first thing, we should stay inside this grouping symbol. So inside, we have one multiplication and an addition. So we should start with the multiplication. 6 times negative 2 is negative 12. We're just going to indicate the addition and carry the problem. We can simplify notation, so we can drop the extra parentheses. So now we, we still have this grouping symbol. Negative 12 plus 5 is negative 7. We're still working upstairs. To subtract is to add the opposite. So 9 minus negative 7 is the same as 9 plus 7, which is 16. Here, uh, we can do this on the margin, 9 minus negative 7. To subtract is to add the opposite. So we have 16 divided by negative 2 times 5 plus 10. And so finally, we, we, can, we can start working on the expression uh, downstairs. We have, have a multiplication and addition. Multiplication is stronger, so we start there. Negative 2 times 5 is negative 10. So now downstairs, we have the addition, negative 10 plus 10. Well, negative 10 plus 10 is 0. So we have 16 divided by 0. That is not allowed. It doesn't even matter what's on the top. As long as uh, we're dividing by 0, the answer is always the same, undefined. We're done with the problem. There is just one more comment. If you're not sure about the 16 divided by 0, you can always ask the calculator. That's, that's one thing. But also, we can write something like 0 divided by 16 and 16 divided by 0. And uh, let's write something like 20 over 4. Now, 20 divided by 4 is 5. Division is defined in terms of the multiplication backward. So 20 over 4 is 5 because 4 times 5 is 20. With that in mind, 16 times what will give us back this 0? Well, 0 will work because 16 times 0 is 0. But this here, no matter what number we put here, if we multiply it by 0, we get 0. So there is nothing that can fix the fact that we are multiplying by 0, so the result can only be 0. So there is nothing that we can meaningfully put so that the multiplication backwards should work, which is why division by 0 is undefined. Thank you for watching.